everybody, welcome back. It's Nicole or Nikki Bricks here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Millennium Falcon Microfighter. So this microfighter came in the Series 8 set of microfighters and for some reason comes on its own. It doesn't have anything to go up against it, no TIE fighter, no Star Destroyer, no nothing. So it completely stands on its own. And it is actually the third time that they have made a Millennium Falcon microfighter. The first one with Han Solo, the second one with Chewbacca, and now we're back to a more modern version of Han Solo. So before we get into our updated Millennium Falcon here, let's go ahead and take a look at that Han Solo minifigure. Okay, so Han Solo is looking pretty good here. You can see he does come with one blaster. Unfortunately, there haven't really been any changes made to this minifigure since it first came out in like 2016, I think in the UCS Death Star set. We still have that issue going on with that torso. For some reason, this piece right here, his chest piece, is white, as opposed to his skin color, which is something that a lot of fans have an issue with, especially because we've seen that chest piece color in tan before, so there's honestly no reason why they can't fix it. They just haven't done it. His hair piece is honestly the most interesting part. I do really like that they've started using that for him. You can see he's got some back printing here. It looks pretty good. But it is the same leg and torso and back printing, so it's nothing really to update you guys on. Although it is worth noting that if you don't have this minifigure already, there's only two current options. You can either get this $10 microfighter or you can get him in the $350 Moss Eisley set. So this is definitely a cheaper alternative and, you know, that torso printing aside, he is a minifigure that you don't want to not have. So again, unfortunately, no updates to this figure. He is just kind of the same old Han Solo we've been getting for quite a while now. So here is our Series 8 Millennium Falcon, and it's definitely an improvement, albeit a really small improvement from the past two Millennium Falcons we've gotten, but nonetheless, it does still look better. Again, this is the third time we've done a Millennium Falcon microfighter, but seeing as I missed the first two, I'm actually really glad that they did it. I know a lot of people are kind of like, really? Like, you couldn't have done something from Clone Wars, and I am in agreement on that. I do really hope that they do some more Clone Wars microfighters, but this ship is a classic, so I honestly have no complaints about it. So essentially what we have here is a very simplified Millennium Falcon. You know, we have a radar dish, we have a couple of stud shooters here on top, some lights up in the front, a very nice printed cockpit piece, but it is the only printed piece that you get on this whole ship. Right here above it is where Han Solo sits, and I'll show you guys how that looks in a second. And around the back here, we do have the engines, which personally are my favorite part of the whole design. I honestly, looking at this microfighter, really makes me want to get the current Millennium Falcon that you can buy. That's like $150, I think, because I really love how these engine pieces look on that set. And likewise, it does look really good on this set here. I think the design they used for this is really cool because they actually use these clip pieces so that you could fold the engines around so you get that nice um, kind of curved look to it. It's just a very neat way that they did it. And on the bottom, you have these like round flat tile pieces so that it can kind of roll around without scratching your table. Again, this is a microfighter here. It's very simplified. It's very small but I am a collector of microfighters and I am very pleased with this design. Another thing to note about this radar dish is that you do get like a 90 degree turn range, which is pretty cool. It is a stud piece, it does come off kind of easy, but it's also easy to just pop right back on. And so now that you kind of have a feel for what this looks like, I'll go ahead and put Han Solo in the cockpit. So here is how Han Solo fits in this design. It looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. The Millennium Falcon is probably one of the better looking microfighters that we've made. And it's just a classic. You know, if you don't have it in your collection, it's worth buying. If you were considering getting one of the older ones as opposed to this model, I would not do that. With this set, you get the updated Han Solo minifigure. You get, again, this really cool engine design that I just really like on this Falcon. And it just overall looks a little bit better than the last two generations. So even though we have done this a few times, at least we've made some really good improvements to this set. All in all, I would say that this is a really good microfighter. I do wish that it had come with a competitor. You know, a TIE fighter would have been really nice to have in this set. But just being what it is as a standalone microfighter, it does look really great, and I am really happy with it. I would say that it's just as good as the AT-AT versus Tauntaun microfighter set. So if you're into microfighters, then honestly, there shouldn't be anything holding you back from getting this. Again, it looks really good. So let me know if you decide to pick this set up and if you enjoy it. Again, I myself am a really big fan of microfighters. I don't know what it is, but just something about them. So I hope you guys enjoyed my short little review on this set. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.